What the world needs now are more expressive and more educational robots. And today we're talking with Madeline from Avatar Mind. This is the iPal, which will be coming out later this year for under $2,000. Give us a walkthrough of some of the things that this thing can do. Well, as you can see, iPal is kind of a friendly, you know, cute humanoid robot. It's Android based, so you're going to have a wealth of applications to be able to download really focusing on education, social companionship, as, as well as um, safety monitoring for right. both children and elder adults. So what's the advantage of having Android built in? Because I haven't seen that for a lot of robots right. so far. Well, I think it's important because then there's the content, and content's very important, particularly for small children. You, you know, they get bored, they want a new game, they want right. a new thing to do, and so that way you're gonna have much more capability and more applications to pick from and choose from. So in that way, do you have an advantage? Because like any developer is, in a way, they're already writing applications for this. Absolutely. Right. So in the beginning, what we're going to be doing is, you know, in the first half of the year, we'll do, uh, release an SDK uh, so that developers can actually develop. And we have two types of things. We have a content editor that can drag and drop, right. you know, motions and facial expressions with their applications, as well as a more sophisticated, you know, you've got Android, right. and then you will have extensions for motion and sensors and those types of things. So how many sensors are inside this robot, and so, what does it allow it to do? Right, you've got about 15 different sensors, so it's looking at object detection, so you don't want to run into the wall, right? right? You don't want to bump into kids that are sitting on the floor right. as it's moving around. It's got sensors to be able to, you know, it's got capability of follow me, right? So it, it can actually recognize you. So you can teach it everyone in the family and it can say, hey, good morning, Johnny, or good morning, mom. And then, you know, so those types of things to be able to get it much more interactive. And of course, it's got voice recognition. So it understands what you says and it can respond back to you and you can have a conversation. So does it know you though, as opposed to just anyone who walks into the room? Yes, you can teach it individual people, so it does do image recognition. Okay, so we talked about kids, but there is another addressable market here with uh, elderly care. Absolutely. How would that work? Well, when you think about, you know, people are at home, it's similar to kids. You, you, you don't want them running out into the street. They're at home, they're older, they're not as mobile as they used to be. Right. And so now you've got friends. You know, you've got someone you can ch chat to okay. and talk to and converse with, as well as it can be a, a reminder to say, hey, take your medication. Have you have you had breakfast today? Have you had lunch today? Elder people sometimes don't always eat right. or they don't take their medication so they've forgotten. And this is a way you can have those kind of um, alerts. And also, we have a companion app, so you can actually look on your phone to check how is mom doing or how are the kids doing at home when, you know, the nanny's there or your husband's there and you're out working or yeah. whatever. So well, that could be a killer app. So yeah. when this goes on sale later this year, where are you going to be able to get it? Well, at first, we, you know, we, we have a manufacturing partner that has a lot of ties into distribution. Right. Um, we haven't announced them yet, so I can't talk about that. But, you know, okay. you'll see it in, you know, some of the usual suspects as well as uh, we'll sell it directly off the site. Great. Well, we can't we can't wait to give this a test drive later Great. this year. This is the iPal, and this is Mark Spoonauer with Tom's Guy.